and is for the WWE Championship. Exciting superstars in the history of WWE, and oh yeah, one of the most positive too. We've seen it time and time again. When Daniel Bryan's competing in the ring, he possesses dizzying speed and can run circles around most of his opponents. We've seen some amazing ladder matches over the years, and I'm willing to bet this one will rank right up there with some of the best. I don't think he should get up. Coming next, suplex. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Belly to belly suplex. Setting it up in perfect position, too. thought that yelling yes and no would be instrumental in Daniel Bryan connecting with the WWE Universe. But it's when he started these exuberant celebrations that he also started winning titles and earning main event slots. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Byron brought up Daniel Bryan's celebrations capturing the WWE Universe's attention, but it's more than just easy to chant words. The world saw Bryan's passion for competition when he would celebrate after winning, and while he originally denied them by yelling no, Bryan would soon change his tune. Daniel Bryan finally found common ground with the WWE Universe and formed the Yes Movement to combat the authority. And to this day, Bryan still keeps the WWE Universe enthralled with those Yes chants. We've seen superstars come back from long-term injuries with a newfound passion. And that's certainly been the case with Daniel Bryan's return to action in 2018. Michael Cole, you ain't kidding. His return match at WrestleMania saw Bryan and Shane McMahon permanently derail Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's yet movement, much to the enjoyment of the 78,000-plus fans in New Orleans. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. Corey, you and Michael mentioned Daniel Bryan's newfound passion in 2018. We really saw Bryan's never-give-up spirit at the Greatest Royal Rumble when he broke Rey Mysterio's record for the most time spent in a single Royal Rumble match. It was one hour, 20 minutes to be exact. Daniel Bryan entered it number one and lasted 
all the way to be the second to last elimination in the unprecedented 50 man match. The first time Kofi Kingston took flight on cable television was in 2008 as part of WWE's relaunch of ECW. Eventually, Kingston soared on Monday Night Raw and held Intercontinental and World Tag Team Championship gold. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look out! Oh boy, he is rolling! Earlier, Corey, you mentioned Kofi's titles. I should also point out he was United States champion and after a bitter rivalry with the Viper Randy Orton, continued to win tag team gold with different partners. Kofi's also become famous for escaping elimination in the Royal Rumble match by defying the laws of gravity. But in 2014, Kofi became filled with the power of positivity as part of the group called The New Day. He's heading for higher ground to get away from you. It's always a joy to see a competitor make a triumphant return to action. But Daniel Bryan's return in 2018 after two years brought unparalleled joy to the WWE Universe. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Michael brought up Daniel Bryan's 2018 return, which to me recalled Shawn Michaels' return back from a back injury. He always stayed tied to the product as SmackDown Live general manager, and once medical advancements allowed, he came back. And the outpouring of delight from the WWE Universe was matched really only by the delight of the WWE superstars, which is ironic because now so many of them are in danger of catching his running knee or feeling the yes lock. Get in ladder in position now. Smack. Stab in the center of the ring too, Cole. He's looking at it. Oof. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Wow. Elbow. Here's his chance to win this. And he's heading back in. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. It's a long way. I don't know how stable that thing is, guys. We're about to find out. Test your balance. Going all the way to the top here, guys. Wow. Whoa. Escapes what likely would have been a power bomb, and a power bomb at this point of the match could have been catastrophic. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Here comes Kingston. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Ooh, brutal body shot. Here we go. What's this? What's this? Here he comes. Big form. Ooh, nasty impact. This could be it. He's going for the goal. I can't believe it. Oh, now's not the time for Butterfield. A tough break. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, and WWE Champion!